September 24, 1184, the medieval German city of Erfurt experienced a sanitation catastrophe that would shock the nation. A latrine collapse at the local school unleashed a torrent of filth through city streets, drowning over a hundred residents. It was a grim testament to the perils of neglecting waste management infrastructure in densely populated urban centers. The Erfurt latrine disaster highlighted critical hygiene deficiencies and spurred reforms improving sanitation for generations to come. Let's dive in. By the 12th century, Erfurt had grown into a bustling trading settlement of around 8,000 inhabitants within a compact walled city. As populations swelled, basic waste facilities strained under overload. Public latrines had designs dating back centuries, common but flawed. They consisted of long wooden boards hung over Martinsbach stream flowing through the city. Multiple users relieved themselves simultaneously over openings, with excrement and urine falling directly into the watercourse below. This rudimentary arrangement sufficed villages sparsely settled for fields, but rapidly expanding towns placed immense pressures on these designs. Here, in Erfurt's famous cathedral school, one such latrine sat suspended precariously over the streaming Martinsbach without reinforcement. Built for an earlier era, it now faced non-stop use by hundreds daily with construction unable to keep pace. Catastrophic failure was inevitable without upgrades to withstand modern realities. On that fateful September day, townspeople crowded the creaking latrine not built to withstand their growing numbers. Under the unrelenting stress, disaster struck. With an ominous crack, the entire wooden latrine gave way, plunging its disastrous cargo upon the hapless city below. A nightmarish torrent of excrement and piss flooded Martin's box waters and overflowed directly into narrow alleys and streets. Panicked people fled in vain as fecal floodwaters rose, drowning over one hundred and leaving many more sickened. Corpses lay strewn amid the squalid aftermath as surviving townsfolk numbly surveyed the haunting scene. Erfurt awoke to incomprehensible destruction courtesy their leaders' inaction. Without adequate sewage infrastructure, rapidly densifying cities choked themselves to death in their own waste like trapped vermin. Tragically, Erfurt discovered this far too late through this lethal incident that marked a pivotal cultural juncture. The catastrophe resonated nationwide as a grim portent of society's deterioration without sanitation safeguards. It prodded medieval Germans to grasp waste disposal's fundamentals determining public health. While innovations existed, traditional designs lingered without construction priorities. Erfurt's calamity made painfully clear such hazards. In the aftermath, Erfurt leaders spearheaded construction of an early sewer network, channels structurally reinforced along Martinsbach's banks. Accessible latrines with secure chambers emptied excrement away from residential areas via covered gutters. These upgrades provided critical infrastructure maintaining hygiene as urbanization accelerated elsewhere. Other German cities followed suit or intensified existing projects, realizing tragedy awaited lagging reform. With epidemic disease a perennial scourge then, waste disposal emerged, recognized universally as a baseline necessity elevating living standards and maximizing productivity through mitigating outbreaks. The Erfurt disaster thus stirred sanitation's prioritization for generations. While Erfurt's cataclysm initially elicited horror, its repercussions left a positive legacy. Leaders comprehending hygiene fundamentals enabled later German population booms withstood urbanization stresses better than peers lacking early infrastructure investments. Germany pioneered centralized water networks, supplying homes with fresh drinking water too, curbing reliance on contaminated surface sources. Connected to upgraded sewers carefully engineered, their integrated hydrological systems facilitated better hygiene maintenance among swelling citizenry. As public health awareness grew, nutrition also improved through expanded farmland no longer degraded by disorganized dumping. These combined factors enabled Germany attaining one of history's earliest demographic transitions as mortality plummeted. The Erfurt disaster thus holds a dual significance, representing disaster's horrific potential from inadequate waste management, yet also catalyzing sanitation's prioritization, establishing firm foundations for future prosperity through continuous upgrades matching growth. Its echoes shaped national underpinnings of resilience. Filled with raw human drama, the Erfurt latrine disaster highlighted civilization's vulnerability and waste management's critical influence before practices matured. Germany's early emphasis on sanitation partly explains later health successes as populations exploded. Erfurt's disaster awakened a city and nation to responsibilities maintaining dignity, and its impact resonates today 
in sanitation's paramount importance for sustainable, equitable communities.